How to Allocate Cookies to Girls in eBuddy, Cookie Distribution and Inventory Management. In this video, we'll briefly review cookie distribution and inventory management tips, as well as the importance of receipts for every transaction and how to best use them. Then we're gonna jump into eBuddy and look at how to allocate cookies distributed from the troop inventory to girls and recording that in eBuddy, as well as how to record payments for those cookies. Once you've watched this video and after the cookie program gets started, go ahead and watch the LBB eBuddy transactions video, which will show you how to view your troops in hand cookie orders, place cookie covered orders, record cookie exchanges or troop to troop transfers, and also track your digital cookie DOC shipped orders. All of the eBuddy short training videos are linked to the cookie resources page. Cookie distribution and inventory management, TCM tips. The troop cookie manager and troop leaders should have an agreed upon plan for how cookies will be distributed to the girls and caregivers in the troop. What do I mean by that? Well, for example, things that you should take into consideration are the troop overall goal. How many troop cookie booths do you have right off the bat? How many cookies are you gonna need for those booths? And then also look at what are individual girl goals? How many cookies are they gonna need to fulfill girl delivery orders that they already have? Do they have scheduled my sales booths with a parent coming up in that first week or so? So you wanna have enough cookies for those first few booths for the troop and for girls. And you want to give girls enough cookies to fulfill their girl delivery orders, but you don't have to give them all their cookies at once. Really, you just wanna strike a balance between those variables and come up with a plan that will work for everyone. And then of course, you wanna communicate that plan to the girls and their families. It's also important that you have already collected signed cookie program permission slips from parents or caregivers before you give girls and their families cookies. Financial responsibility for cookie inventory should be communicated to families as well. And that financial responsibility is noted on the parent permission form, whether that's the paper form or the digital form. All cookies, including initial order cookies received by the troop are the financial responsibility of the TCM or troop. They are troop inventory until you distribute them to girls and their families, but you must have a signed permission form and a signed receipt for every transaction. It's also best practice to not check out additional cookies to a caregiver until cookie order money collected has been turned in for their previous checkout of cookies. It's best to clearly communicate expectations around cookie inventory from the start. And that's the plan that the troop cookie manager, troop leaders, troop volunteers come up with to kind of strike that balance between what's needed cookie wise to fulfill girls digital cookie orders, as well as at least the first couple of booths that the troop has already scheduled. It's also recommended to check in with girls and their families a few weeks after the program starts. And again, a week ahead of the program ending on Sunday, March 10th. Check to see if they have excess inventory that you could take back into troop inventory, especially if you have more booths coming up or that you could post on the troop cookie exchange in eBuddy, or if they need more inventory because they have more girl delivery orders that have come in or have planned upcoming my sales booths with a parent or caregiver. Communicating expectations to girls and their parents or caregivers and checking in with families about how many cookies they have or need is key to good inventory management. Another important factor are receipts. Each troop should have received cookie receipt books to be used to track cookie and money transactions within the troop. They're carbon copied so that both the TCM and the caregivers can keep a copy. This paper trail is really important and is for the protection of everyone involved. The signed receipt transfers the financial responsibility from one person to another and must be kept for reference. A good rule to follow is to write one receipt for every transaction. For example, write one receipt for cookies distributed or checked out and write a separate receipt for the cookie money turned in or payment made. On every receipt include the cookie variety, how many packages of each, the troop number, the date, and the signatures of both adults. Both parties should also count the cookies and the money together. The troop should keep the white copy of the receipt and give the yellow copy to the caregiver and do keep copies of all the receipts. It's important to update your records in eBuddy frequently. It's better to keep it updated than to leave too much work for yourself at the end. Now we're gonna get into eBuddy and take a look at how to allocate cookies to girls and how to record payments. You'll also see as I'm going through a short demo of that, how keeping receipts for every transaction plays a critical role. Here we are in eBuddy. 
The first thing I want to show you is where you can quickly see the girl delivery orders for the girls in your troop from your dashboard. If you go to this window, DOC Girl Delivery Orders, and click on Show Data, a screen will pop up with the names of the girls, the quantity of cookies that have been ordered for girl delivery, and types of cookies, as well as the totals. This is an easy way for you to see the quantities and types of cookies that the girls will need to fulfill those orders. You can also print this page. Now we'll go to the Girl Orders tab. Quick page orientation. So under this tab, you will see GOC cookies listed here. You will not see them broken out by variety because they're not cookies that are part of your troop inventory. The cookies under the Girl Orders tab are the cookies that the troop has in hand and once you've distributed them, that girls have in hand. Towards the bottom of the page, you're gonna see the line that reflects your troop initial order. And once you've allocated cookies to girls, you will see that the numbers listed in the difference line will change to reflect those allocations. When you click on the name of a girl in your troop, you're going to see her DOC girl delivery orders and DOC donated orders listed here. But again, you're only gonna see the number of those orders and not a breakout of how many cookies per variety. The eBuddy system does not add the quantities under varieties on this page, only payments for girl delivered orders and DOC donated orders or gift of carrying cookies. The quantities of varieties are noted elsewhere. Now I'll show you the steps to take to allocate troop cookies, whether those are initial order cookies, covered order cookies, to the girls in your troop. And you'll want to go through these steps anytime a parent or caregiver checks out cookies from you. You will enter those distributions here under the Girl Orders tab. Let's just go back one step so I can take you from the start of it. To allocate cookies to a specific girl, click on the girl's name. and then click on this plus order button. Here's where those receipts come in. You're gonna type in this comment box, the date, the receipt number, and you might wanna add like the name of the parent or caregiver taking the cookies. Any other information that's helpful to you to be able to distinguish between a lot of different transactions by the end of the cookie program. Once you've added all of your notes into the comments section, next what you'll do is enter the quantity of cookies under each variety, and it's in packages. Enter all of those here. And as you do so, I'll just enter one so you can see. eBuddy will actually total the amount that the parent or caregiver will owe for those cookies that you're checking out to them. Then you'll hit the save button, and I believe a pop-up screen asking you if it's okay or if you want to cancel, will pop up. You'll want to hit OK. And then you've completed the transaction. Once you've completed that transaction, you will see the line item added here. To enter payments for cookies allocated to the girl, click on this plus pay button, enter the date, receipt number, name of the parent who's making the payment, and then the amount paid. This goes back to what I had said earlier about creating one receipt for each transaction and then mirroring that under Girl Orders in eBuddy. It will make the closeout process much easier for you if you do that. Once you've entered the comments and the amount paid, you'll click the Save button. Again, there may be a pop-up that asks you if the transaction is OK or if you want to cancel. You'll select OK and then you'll see that payment as a line detail here under the girl's record. The allocations and payments that you add under each girl in your troop will be reflected on the difference line once you're back to this girl order summary page. If you have questions about cookie distribution or inventory management, please contact your service unit cookie manager. Remember that you can also go to the cookie resources page to watch other eBuddy training videos. The next one to watch after this would be transactions. If you have questions about digital cookie, there are tip sheets posted on the cookie resources page too, along with program permission forms, booth basics guides, and resources to print for booths. Thanks for watching and have a great cookie season.